Hi everybody, welcome to the Meta Report. It is the beginning of ProQuest and I've been joined by Hamish from Push the Point. Hello, hello, hello. Right, How man. are you? It's been a while. It has been a while, but you're back. You're back on. We uh, get to see how you performed at Angle Gaming uh, a little bit later on uh, and get your, yeah. get your perspective on the meta um, as we say goodbye to the Queen of Dragons this week. That sounds like a rhyme, doesn't it? We say goodbye to good old Dromai. <laughs> Maybe that's something I should say as a bard, but yeah, never mind. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't steal it now. Everybody's heard it. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't thank me. It's what I do. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Hamish. It was brilliant. Uh, right. Okay. So uh, a bit of paperwork to begin with. Uh, so uh, let us begin with once it does the giveaway so uh Yay! yeah ed cardle at by the same token he's got some um uh new tokens to give away to uh people who like and comment for the next three weeks and i'll add up all the comments i'll do a spinny wheel and we'll pick them out but i have four sets of the new tokens so the the might uh the agility the vigor tokens you get two might you get two vigor and you get one agility i basically put a picture there so you can see the agility is double-sided you will get an overpower token and a wagered token so uh Ooh. four of these four of these and one set of the streaming tokens for dominate go again and overpower Okay, so they'll be nice. ra randomly drawn on week four, and I will post them out to uh, the lucky winners. So good luck. Uh, so uh, remember, like and comment on the video. That'd be fantastic. If you want to subscribe, even better. Um, I'll be massively thankful if uh, you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you become a patron, then uh, you get 10% off of Buy the Same Tokens as well, as well as 10% off of Thistle Tavern Singles and 10% uh, off Shamir Sammy Coaching. So um, if you want to get better in the game, uh, Shamir Sammy, top eight, Pro Tour Lil, uh, he's a formidable player. Um, so you can get in contact with him and uh, give him the code. All right. OK, right. So uh, should we see a bit of Living Legend? Let's see where we are. Uh, so this was going into week one. Uh, as we all knew, this was Dromai's last week. We thought she might go out maybe at Phuket. You know, maybe she'd have gone out with a big bang at Atlanta. Um, but sadly not. Um, Fi, I would say close on the hills. It only takes a couple of wins and he'll be gone. Dash is doing really well. It'll be sad to see Dash go, to be fair. I think she should stick around for a while. And your one, Viscerai in sixth place, mate. He's going to come oh, back. I know. Well, you can see when Skeleta was doing its work, yeah, and yeah. then you can see when Skeleta wasn't doing its work. <laughs> <laughs> but, Dromai, with Dromai gone, how are you feeling about Viscerai's chances? Um, it's still not great, to be honest. Um, he's fine. He, he tackles a certain meta very well. Um, it, all, it, it, it all depends what sort of builds uh, you're going to go for, whether you're just going to go for the traditional Rivian Skies attack and you've lost Rosetta, so it's Reef and Blade, or do you want to go down a route of build a lot of Rune Chance using Looming Doom and Ninth Blade to finish the game off? Um, I think that my personal feeling is that the approach of just going big is actually tackling a lot of actually important stuff in the meta, so there is a place for Viscerai there, mm -hmm. and with Dromai gone, that is pretty good. But again, he's still got some rough matchups as well, but at the same time, you know, a lot of heroes also have those rough matchups right so yeah, it yeah, is okay. it is a thing where you could probably read the room a little bit um yeah he's 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 not he's he's underrated but at the same time very tricky to maneuver and it's actually quite a hard hero to try and pilot and a lot of things have to go right so i imagine that's probably why a lot of people don't want to pick him because they just want something a little bit more consistent in yeah. what they're going to do. Yeah, indeed. Uh, so uh, in your interview with Brian, um, he thought sort of like uh, top players were going to be um, sort of like Dory, KO, Victor. Um, they're sort of like um, the, the big main three for this one. Azalea we've seen come in um, with Brody winning at Phuket. So Azalea is actually in seventh place. Eighth place is Dorinthia. Fourteenth place already is KO. And fifteenth place is Victor. So um, mm. we'll keep our eyes on these... Um, these heroes and see how well they impact the table in the weeks to come okay so uh let's kick it off we are kicking it off in sweden spellgrotten in udvala 
Um, I think that's how you say it. Uh, so um, how would you feel about this one? 27 players. Uh, we've got a Dashio in here as well. All right. So, re- so here's the thing, right? All these heroes you can actually see, apart from Dorinthia and Viserai, I, you know what you're going to see, right? The builds are kind of like, you know, their play style. But mm-hmm. Dorinthia is actually... What type of build is this? Is this a Dawnblade build? Is this the Hatches build, the popular new Hatches build, right? And then the Viserai is this, like I said before, you know, OTK or or Attacky, right? So if I'm looking at this, I'm like, yeah, okay. Um, I, this is kind of what I expect to see a little bit, you know, Dash IO, Phi, uh, Vincent, and a Viserai. It's a little bit of like, a, okay, cool. We, people are dragging out there uh their, their favorite heroes mm-hmm. but also to see uh kasai ko drinthia and dromai kind of wrapped up pretty well is pretty you know is a thing and levia getting that uh three you know three people playing that it, it's it's a it's a right old mixed bag i have to say it's a right mm-hmm. old mixed bag a lot of this not not surprised to see to be honest yeah, uh, Levi won PTI uh, Atlanta, so she did well. Um, Dash, yeah, Dashio, she's a good hero. Yeah, Dashio <laughs> was t- piloted by Tyler Horsepool at the latest AG event, which uh, he did very well at. Um, so that might yeah. be why Dashio got picked. Okay, but um, if you paid attention to the RTN season in Sweden, you will know that Sweden is dominated by Guardians. They swept the yeah. board last time. Uh, speaking to Erica, uh, a lot of the Guardians have jumped shipped and they've gone to Warrior. Um, so uh, let's see how the top four turned out. <laughs> right. <Wow>. So <laughs> I, I, I am going to say, like, I don't want to assume, but this Hatches build is pretty popular. So I think it is like one of those safe assumptions to go, this is probably a Hatches build with the Dawnblade dealing with Dromai is kind of like the the, the general gist strat that uh, I would have to just safely go down. To see this is actually like, yeah, I mean, doesn't surprise me to see this. I wouldn't, you know, a Dorinth- I would, you know, Dorinthia is obviously going to get into the final. Um, I'd probably put my money on uh, Levia actually winning this over Dromai, but okay. Levia can lose to herself, so you know that's uh, that's my call. Okay, okay, okay. so um, right, okay, so <laughs> we'll, we'll go through into the final then. Um, so the final was Martin. Yeah, hey, I called it. Martin Andresen on Levia and Joachim Gustafsson on Dory. Uh, the only person I know is Joachim, and he is the current. Swedish national champion. Okay, well, all right. Dorinthia, Hatches Dorinthia is doing very, very well, and mm-hmm. I am going to put my money on the Swedish national champion just because <laughs> I don't know. And it's a, probably a good bet. Safe okay. bet. Okay, okay, well done. You're there off the mark. Go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it, I, I, it's, it's a very good build into Leviathan because it actually, what it does is, it makes it very tricky for the Leviathan to transform into the Blasma Fet uh, stage because of those attack reactions. Mm-hmm. It's very hard to actually try and manage and control that to get to, you know, let your blood debt hit you to 13. Yeah. Because, you know, you, you're, trying to, you're trying to stop these, you know, crazy on hit attacks. But if Leviathan can get it, it's not, it's not as if to say that, War, you know, Dorinthia is guaranteed to win. Um, but it's just very tricky to transform into blasma fet with mm-hmm. as you know Trinthia can just control that game state pretty well but well done well done for a leviathan final indeed uh, and well done to joachim uh there we go uh we see uh him over there in udavala we have uh dragon's lair in stockholm to go and play oteke in lund so play oteke is way down the bottom we see where malmo is uh that's where sort of like lund is around there so uh the well, these guys have got to travel indeed yeah <laughs> yeah um travel they do righty so let's go over to ireland now um so uh before we go into the meta okay they had a gentleman's agreement that nobody was to turn up with Dorinthia. Oh, uh, sorry, Dromai. Okay, so they're already play testing into the next meta. Okay, what everyone, all twenty-one players. They would. They, they made a gentleman's agreement. No one was to take Dromai, so nobody took Dromai. Okay. Oh well, that's that's, that's fair enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, so this is this is uh, maybe things to come. 
Um, mm -hmm. So you might see a few more KOs, um, that's for sure. You know, right, maybe, okay, maybe a few okay. more canos because they're praying sort of like um you know they're ever forever praying on the aggro players well yeah that's true but i've with the rise of uh prism now prism is the new you know sit down ko you you know i'm here and i'm gonna give you make your time a little bit miserable but mm -hmm. like i said everyone's just got this matchup that's like a oh i don't not really a massive fan of this. And maybe Dorinthia is probably becoming very popular because she's actually just like, I don't know what sort of matchup is so one sided. Like, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe, well, okay, Kano. There you go. Yeah, Kano is that matchup that you go, I really don't want to see Kano. Mm -hmm. um, I, so, yeah, everyone's got that one, right? But here we go. This meta looks pretty good. I love seeing Teclo Vossum yep. sort of just rock up. And he's actually, again, it's like, I said about Viserai with the OTK build. He's his way of playing is actually very, very awkward to for for a lot of people to to manage. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool to see him. Yeah, as soon as uh, as soon, like in the play group that I, that I'm in the chat of, as soon as they saw Dromai on nine nine six, he was like, right, Teclavos is coming out. Um, it's kind so, of wild yeah. to think. I still think that's kind of wild though. Like why? that what you know because kano could just absolutely annihilate this mm -hmm. and they don't really have a major majorly great way of dealing with arcane unless i'm just uh, something i don't see I, I did see um at the weekend um it was a max game a guy called bill stevenson he had stasis cell in his deck specifically for kano so when he gets that um item out he can basically just say you're not using striders or you or you're not using metacarpus nodes or you're not using your you ragamuffin's hat it basically just switches off his equipment so if you can get it out at the right time but what about viscerai for example well, like a hero yeah he's uh, not yeah, gonna, exactly, not gonna turn mean. that down is he but um but it yeah. is a way to well, kind yeah. of shut down like a, maybe a kano you know go turn so um yeah, it's yeah, just it's fair. just got to be you know well timed. Okay, yeah. but digressing. Let's get let's get on to the top four. Let's go. Righty, Ian Holland, uh, RTN twenty twenty three winner, skirmish seven winner, Pro Quest four winner, Ryan Porter on Kasai, skirmish six winner, Connor McGrath on Dorinthia, RTN twenty twenty four winner, and Brian McDonough with Viserai. Ah, uh, I look right. Okay, so two things. Amazing. Well done, Viserai. Top four. My boy, my boy. <laughs> Ian Holland. Oh, I, a dude that I know very well. Uh, very good to see Kea here. And Ryan Porter and Conor McGrath. I haven't met you, but awesome that you're bringing all this in. What a nice, diverse meta. I, I mean, I don't know how to call the final, to be honest. I would say that uh, I'll go with Ian Holland and... Okay. I tell you what, I, just because I'm a viscerai simp, I'll go for Brian McDonough. <laughs> McDonough. I'll go for Brian McDonough, yeah. even though my head's like probably might be Brinthia, <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see, let's go. Let's see the final. Okay, so the final you're going again for, sorry, is it, it, Ko and um, viscerai. Ko viscerai. Okay, right. No. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> okay. You couldn't be further okay, than okay. the truth, but yeah. <laughs> but uh, at least, you, at least you're one. giving the uh, finals a go. Uh, you know, who's going to make it into the final? So that's all right. It's cool. Righty. Kasai versus Dory. Uh, I'm going to go with Dory. Dory. Okay. No. Uh, that's wrong. <laughs> Is it not, is no, it's no, it's Ryan Connor, Ryan Ryan. Yeah, he's right. He's right. He's right. Oh, I, oh my god! I thought I cocked it up then. <laughs> I cock. I'm gonna cock it up somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's uh, if you can spot it, uh, that's what you need to do. Right. So well done, Ryan. Well done. I, uh, we have a um, a gold foil opening. There is no um sound on this because basically there was music playing and YouTube would literally shut my video down. Uh, let's have a look. So uh, let's see what you get. Uh, let's push the play button. Okay, right. So we'll just be the uh, we'll be the audio here. So, uh... but people are, people are now recognizing sort of like uh you know it's going to be upside down when you pull it open. Um, but um yeah we're getting ready. I I really like okay. these. Yeah, no, I, I, it's it's kind of it is quite exciting, really. I love I love seeing a good old goal full opening. Okay. As you all know, it's turn face down, yeah. And three, two, one. 
He's that is gas. <laughs> oh, I am super jealous. I am so jealous. It's unreal. I thought you'd like that one. As soon as I saw oh. it, I was like, oh, Hamish is going to like that one. Um, I, I wish I had a lot of money. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, a lot of the kits have been delayed. Um, so the I golf, know. golf hall was not <laughs> opened um, in in um, in Sweden. So it's, no, it's so. not. It wasn't. It wasn't at the ProQuest I was at as well. Yeah. Thanks, Asmodi. Anyway, let's. Uh, uh, yeah, there's <laughs> there's a problem with the judge packs. That's why they've been sort of like um. That's what I heard anyway. All right. So okay. uh, righty, uh, let's see the uh, table. Uh, there we go. So seventh dimension. Ryan Porter Kasai. Well done, Ryan. PTI right. is on its way to you. EH Ooh. Gaming in York, fantastic venue. Um, yeah. Ross Hewitt up in York. Um, it, this was pretty much sold out. 31 players, um, five KOs, five victors, four Dory, mm-hmm. four Kano. Mm-hmm. This, this is what we're going to be seeing probably in the weeks to come. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This, that, this is the, that is the kind of expected, Matchup spread. I'm gonna. I think going forward is we're gonna see. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So let's get on with the top four. Joe Fletcher on dash. Uh, Jake the Baker Warburton Pro Tour 2023 winner. Top eight. Um, uh, yeah, top eight. Sorry, Pro Tour 2023. Top eight. Sorry, uh, Pro Quest 2023. RTN 2024. Scott Mines. RTN 2023 and a 2024. On KO and Sammy Braben calling the Burn- champion. Yeah, <laughs> ProQuest for three RTN 2024s as well. So uh, yeah, and all on Kano. Those RTN wins were. Yeah. Okay. Are you, are you um, going? Are you calling the final? Are you? Don't know. I tell you what. I don't want to call the final. Right. Because okay. uh, I don't want to call the. I'll call. I'll call the winner. Right. Jolly good. Right. This in. could be anyone's game, to be honest. Um. This could. Yeah, okay, right. <laughs> Sammy makes another final. Um, I think, I don't know, I think is I, I, I follow Jake on Twitter and the, I only saw one of him where he said I went 2-2, so I don't remember him saying he'd been in the final. But uh, I, tell you, I don't really know how this would go, but I probably should really go for Kano because he can, he can just pull some tricks out of the bag and it's Samuel Braben, the calling champion. Sorry, Jake. It's nothing personal. They're, they're uh, both fantastic I mean, players. They're both brilliant. It's nothing to do with the players. Mm-hmm. I think it's just that it's, it's more the matchup. I, I'm going to lean on the matchup, not the players on this one. So you're going Sammy, yeah? Uh, I'm going to go Kano. I'm going Kano. You're going Kano. Right to Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, wow. I should, I should, I don't. There you go. I didn't check that. I didn't see that tweet. There you go. Well done, Jake. Well done. Yeah. So that's uh, this is his new sleeves for Azalea. Jake the Baker will burn. He's uh, he's embraced the uh, his, his little acronym. Um, uh, I will say a massive shout out to Jake. He gave me a tip for my birthday. So um, thank you. Um, that, awesome. that was really really nice of you. Thank you so much. Uh, so uh, I, w- I wouldn't expect anything less. The guy's an incredibly good player. Yeah, he's really, really good. Um, I had a chat with him at Living Realms. Um, he- he's so nice. It's unreal. Um, mm. Right. Okay. So Angle Gaming, you were here. How was it? Yeah, it was really good. It was lovely. Uh, great crowd. It was uh, mostly dominated by uh, the Nottingham scene, mm-hmm. uh, which I know a bunch of lovely people. A lot of them were Push the Point patrons as well. So it was good to catch up with them. And my friend Simon was there as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, no, it was a great crowd. Um, yeah, nothing more to say, really. And the venue's really lovely as well. Yeah. Who, who was repping Riptide? I don't know. <laughs> I, did, I, <laughs> I, was, um, I, I didn't I didn't see who was ripping Riptide. Oh, it's, it, not in the most arrogant way, um, but I was... Uh, I had a, I had a good uh, I had a good Swiss, let's just say that. So I was just finishing my game, sitting on the top and bounced out so i wasn't really checking out the games below so you, so you made it into the top eight but this is the top four Dave, yeah i didn't get into the top eight <laughs> yeah so <laughs> david calf on ko he's been playing it for quite a while at mana screw nathan hills yeah. uh he wasn't playing decimated dory he switched to hatchet story uh tom hazel and ollie m so ollie ollie tom I, hazel I, is I, the man that it, it took me out of that top eight and it was a, a a very small story it was 
I was say I was Saber's combo. Sorry, Tom. I'm gonna have to just bring this up, but I threw it right at the end because <laughs> I had a triple Lumina turn coming up. I bolt of courage coming in. I have five cards in soul. I beak a uh, beacon of victory just for one, and I should have just threw the whole five in because I also had the amulet as well. Um, but I, I basically fatigued myself out of the game, and he played really well. So I know that Tom Hazel won. Uh, I do actually know the outcome of this as well. And Ollie as well. Yeah. On Decimator Axe as well. I know yeah. he's on Decimator Axe. So, so I always knew Ollie as a as a Dory player and he was really good and he switched to Azuri. And I was like, what? Why have you gone to Azuri? Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm because, glad. Because uh, Dr- Dromo is not out of the matter yet. That's yeah. basically what he said. He's yeah, not. Yeah. Yes. So. I, I'm so glad, he, so glad he's gone back to Dory. Uh, right. Okay. Well, he so... won't be for long, no. It won't be for long. <laughs> I know that. Uh, righty david carl versus tom hazel in the final yeah and the winner is tom hazel there we go well done well yeah. done tom fantastic win uh, a local as well always nice when a yeah. local wins at their events yep and he's able to go at the time he wasn't sure if he was able to go to the pro tour because i think he had a wedding on but mm-hmm. he went back had a chat and he's going so watch out nice uh right cool uh right fistful of dice i didn't get the meta for this this is the top eight though uh so three dromai dominated by dromai this one uh two dories two kanos and one victor okay so. i have no idea uh I, I, it's gonna, i'd probably put my money on a dromai getting into the top four okay um i have probably put my money on dromai getting to the final to be honest righty so let's see the top four anyway Okay, okay. Yeah. so Conor O'Sullivan uh, on uh, Dromai, Sean Nolden um, on Dory, Proquest 4 yeah. 2023, um, Joe Wetter um, on Victor, and Jacob Clements, RTN 2023, Skirmish 7 winner, Proquest 4 2023, and an RTN 2024. So yeah. um, he's got yeah. loads Jake- of accolades under, him, under his belt. Jacob Clements is an absolute monster, and the fact that he's moved over from uh Dorinthia to Kano strikes fear in my heart to yeah. be honest. He was doing um he was playing both in the RTN. Um so yeah he he he, he got three I think he qualified three times or four times yeah. for RTNs. Um he, he had such a fantastic season so far mm. and he and he basically flip flopped between Dory and Kano. So he's equally yeah. good with both. Uh so final okay so final is Oh, but he didn't do well that time. Yeah, Conor O'Sullivan, Conor O'Sullivan on Dromai versus Sean Nolden on Dory. Wow, this is like the Pro Tour final. Um, I don't know. I think I'll just... Will the sigil think... save Conor this time? <laughs> uh, I, I, let's go. I, I think I'll actually go for Sean on this because I think I'm trying to cast my mind on how many Dromai's won. And I don't know if I heard that a Dromai took the uh, the UK, yeah, any UK pro quest. So I'll just, I'll go with Sean. For, this on, this on one was quite quiet. Oh, Dromai? Uh, Dory. Okay, so you're going Dory, are you? Yeah, I'll go with Dory, I think. Right, okay. Well done, Connor. Oh, Fantastic wow. win. <laughs> was... So there was one. There, there was, was one. A, there was, a, there yeah. was one. Okay. Yeah. okay. But, but we found out on the Saturday that Dory had Living Legend on the Saturday, hadn't she? So, um, yeah. Oh, Dromai. Uh, Dromai, sorry. Yeah. It's too many demons. I know. I, I, just, when... I literally said I, I picked, I picked Dromai and I meant Dory. <laughs> it's, it's, there you it's, go. It's when K.O. Kano's Katsus and Kasai's are all in the, in, the, in the top fours. It's like, oh, my God, I'm going to get so confused. I know. Pick it. But, yeah, the K hero. Yeah, so well done, Connor, for getting your name on the banner um, as she uh, goes to the, the hallowed hall of Living Legend. Well done. Okay, so awesome. uh, we are on to Living Realms. 37 players, Ooh. the biggest tournament of the weekend. Um, Noah uh, Noah Hicks was here, so um, you had a big crowd oh. from Nottingham go down to Peterborough, but Noah came up to Living Realms. He was one of the K yeah, that- players. Yeah, I was told he wasn't coming, so I quickly threw out all my Kano tech on my Bolton. Because <laughs> I don't, I'm like, if he ain't going, then I'm safe. I need my revenge. <laughs> right, uh, let's have a look at this top eight. This, this, this uh, matchup, the more the, Max is a bit weird. Uh, I've got top four. I could probably tell you what the top eight is, maybe. Um, oh, no, no let's, let's, right let's have a look at top four. Uh, top top four. four is 
uh, Paul Goodchild on Dromai, Liam Holden on Dory. OK, now his, Liam, his Dory had Hatchets, Decimator and Dawnblade in the list. OK, Adam Harbinson okay. on Victor, who was King of Swiss and Ollie Wing on Victor, which was his first tournament coming back to the scene. Wow. OK, yeah. cool. That's really cool. So a victor, a victor mirror. So there's going to be a victor in the final. And I think it's going to be Liam, probably because I probably know the outcome of this. OK, Liam Holden is ProQuest 2023 winner, Skirmish Season 8, calling Liverpool runner up. Yeah. Uh, I have recorded these games, so um, bear with. Uh, they are coming. They'll be coming this week. And the final will be have some commentary from none other than... Oh. Uh, hopefully us <laughs> <laughs> hopefully us we're trying to just organize our dates so don't yeah. we may I've, be able to do it i've we uploaded should, should it to, to the drive it. now it's uploaded i've got the laptop down there so it's, i've just looked yeah it's uploaded to the drive it, it may or may not have commentary yeah it may may or may not right cool uh the uh, just a word of warning uh that round four there is a problem uh i lost it, all the audio round four the computer just went nope um so yeah it's uh it, that one's very quiet uh right okay so uh final dry yeah, my okay versus uh dory yeah i think i know this one i think liam won it uh he did win it. Yeah, yeah, he did win uh, it. Yeah, I, saw did win it. <laughs> yeah, it uh, I saw his tweet. Yeah, I saw his tweet. That was a cracking game. It was really, really good. Um, God, so, well, he must have took, he must have took Dawn Blade to this, right? Uh, he Dawn Bladed this one, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got to. Uh, uh, all the way through the event, he used all all the weapons, um, depending yeah, on but, who he was playing. Yeah, the Dawn Blade is for is for Dromai. That's yeah. I'm a, I know that indeed. Yeah. Uh, right, okay, last game of the weekend. Skywood Fire Games, lowest off 16 players. This was streamed on Twitch, so you can check them out. Uh, uh, it's under their name on Twitch. You can go back and watch it. Um, Dashio's here. It's always nice yeah, to I see know the, I, I, know, I know that my, I know that, uh, my friend Jake it was, took a jury uh, down to, is, to, to, yeah. Is uh, that Jake Arms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I know he went down there. Uh, I know that there isn't an Azuri in the top eight. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, well done. You score a point for that. Uh, right. Okay. Eric Sievers on Dromai. Daniel Scuppum. I know the outcome. Yeah. Da Daniel <laughs> Scuppum, who is basically uh, brute main, kind of rules the roost of the brutes over sort of like on the east coast of the UK. ProQuest cool. 3 winner uh, and a skirmish 6. Matthew Folks on Victor. UK champion 2021. Pro Tour Lille champion. Pro Tour Baltimore top 8. He drove over 500 miles to attend this event so he's gone from cardiff all the way to the other side of the uk he'd never played victor before and never played against victor yeah <laughs> and then adam that parker, sounds like him <laughs> adam parker on prison okay so uh let's get to the final dromai yeah. versus victor eric sievers yeah. versus matthew folks okay i know the outcome I know, and it was it was ridiculous. Um, yeah, Matt Folks never playing Victor, <laughs> and just just wins the whole goddamn thing. Of course, yeah, of course. There we go. Let's just confirm that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I I honestly, yeah, the dude's the dude's insane. <laughs> <laughs> he's really, really good. Uh, we haven't seen much of Matt since uh, calling Liverpool. Um, he's probably posed up and down the country in his Olympia costume because he was so good with it. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, it, was, it was really cool. It was really, really good. Uh, well done, Matt. Um, yeah, fantastic victory. You travelled so far. I can't believe how far you travelled, but hats, I tip my hat to you, sir. Fine win. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, right. Yeah. Let's see how the meta map's shaping up. This will uh, fill up as the weeks, um, you know, go forward. So Jake Warburton, uh, Azalea, EH Gaming, and Liam Holden on Dorinthia. Uh, we're, we're probably going to see lots of Dorinthia uh, across the board as we go on. Oh, look, there's another one. Tom Hazel, Dorinthia, uh, Ankle Gaming in Peterborough, Skywood Fire Games, Lower Staff, Matthew Folks. Um, so if you can see the bottom of the screen, you'll see Cardiff underneath the blue box that's how far matt traveled went right across <laughs> england there 
<laughs> God, on his horse. <laughs> yeah, God, God knows what time he set off, and God knows what time he got back. But yeah, flipping heck. Um, right, uh, and there we have uh, Connor with Dromai winning a fistful of dice. Goodbye, Dromai. See you later. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but we still have a few weeks left to go, and this is where we are. Uh, so the 20th is Dark Sphere. This is the first match that we have in London. Uh, Toys and Games in Worcester. Dark Star Gaming, which I've not heard of before, but Plymouth mm-hmm. have got two good gaming stores now in Plymouth. Underworld Gaming in Dublin for the Irish crowd. 27th of April, uh, we, we then go back to London. We have Brighton, Liverpool. We're up and down the country. And then we will see what happens in Sweden again. Um, and then sort of like... Uh, Finishing off that weekend, Trinity Card Capital. We they're a bit a bit quiet. We haven't heard from them in a while. Used to run absolutely loads of events while we were going COVID, um, and just after when we were getting back into gaming. So um, it's really good that they've um, that they've got a uh, ProQuest. I will be recording at Manor Screw. So if you're at Manor Screw, come and say hello. Uh, and uh, if you're doing well, we'll get you on the table. And then um, t- to round that out, we'll, um, it will be the last one in Ireland at the Gathering in Limerick. The Gathering always seemed to get an event. Seemed to get a good crowd uh, down in southwest of um, Ireland. Um, fantastic venue. Um, and then finishing up. We'll say is... I will say that the Geek Retreat in Bristol, I don't believe that mm. they're going... Yeah, that is... It's not going to happen in Geek Retreat. So I will... I think the rumours I haven't are that it's going to be Excelsior. Yeah. And that's going to pick that one up. Yeah, I heard that yesterday. I was like, what? What's going on? Um, but yeah, yeah uh, last year, um, the Irish Meta had the same. One of their stores that got, got an event closed down and then 7th Dimension came in and sort of like um very kindly um put that event on so hopefully there's two other stores in bristol so um yeah hopefully they'll um you know that one of them will do it excelsior is a good store they've got a good reputation for running events yeah i'm hearing that i'm hearing it that it's going to be excelsior yeah uh mox in the hole will surely be a very well attended event i'm sure jamie and his crew there will be putting on some fantastic prizes they've had a massive um turnout over the last um few few events so looking forward to seeing what goes on in mocks yeah okay uh last but not least and i've got that there's my mistake i found it it should what say was it? it should say your name at the top instead of scott well done scott fantastic Nice one. Okay, so Ireland, Pipu, Chris, Dylan Thompson, Jamie Lee McGabe, Sweden, Eric Forschlove. Thank you very much, Erica. Um, UK, Cole, Jacob Clements, Jev, Chris Chalk, Emperor Kalps, Jake Kitchen, Fabio Pinheiro. Thank you so much um, for all the information that you gave me. Thank you so much, Fabio, for, for letting me um, uh, rock up and record your event. I really appreciate that. And to my patrons, Andrew Rayner, Bowlfall, Mike Kerslake, Callum Dawling, Darren Burdock Latter, and Ross Hewitt. Mwah! Thank you very much. Um, uh, the dice are made for Warsaw um, with your with your contributions. So I am packing dice already. So if you see me at Warsaw, come and get your Warsaw commemorative dice. I do not have many, so make sure that you pop over sooner rather than later. Um, I'll be coming up to you. I, I, I miss it. I, the fact that I've missed that Liverpool dice has uh, got me fuming. Uh, they're not on the table. I know they're around. They're white this time. So it would have been nice if I'd have got the uh, with uh, red writing, but I couldn't find them. So uh, they're white with black. Uh, they say calling Warsaw at the top, 2024 at the bottom. So come and get your dice there. Um, I'm doing an online event. Um, so that's slowly increasing the amount of players I'm putting in. And there are commemorative dice. If you win a Baz, it's called the Baz Brawl. Um, so if you win a Baz Brawl, you get a Baz Brawl winner dice. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, like uh, like uh, another another game, a cartoon, you've got to get them all. Um, there will be uh, Pro Tour Liverpool, uh, Pro Tour Amsterdam dice. There will be potentially calling Leon dice as well. So um, and of course, the Nationals dice. Um, yeah. so there's plenty more dice to get. Um, they are all different colours. Uh, I try not to repeat a colour, um, but yeah, they are they are increasing. Um, uh, I do have hats, so baseball caps, snapbacks, and beanies. 
Uh, I don't have a box with me. Um, they're only available for UK and Ireland at the minute. Um, so if you're interested, um, there is a post on the UK Discord. Uh, £15 for a baseball cap or a snapback. And a beanie is a tenner. I'll try, nice. and get, I'll try and get something up so you can see what the picture's like or go to my thread on UK Discord. You'll see it there. I'm pretty sure I pulled them out of the car. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. They're around somewhere. Um, Hamish, thank you so much. Thank you so You're much welcome. for coming on. Um, brilliant. Uh, will you come on again for, during this week, during this ProQuest period? Can I grab you for another week at some point? No, never again. Okay. Um, I, I'm quitting, Fab. No, I'm joking, of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Uh, are you going anywhere? But not or... next week. Not next week, I actually had to point out, because uh, I'm not. I'm at a wedding, so uh, it'll have to be the week after. All right, fair enough. Uh, but we shall hopefully hear your dulcet tones on the final of Living Realms uh, game. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. I shall. Uh, you need to give me your email address so I can share it. Um, yeah. Uh, nice. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. You take care. Uh, good luck with um, your pro quest for week two, and we'll see how it all shapes up. <laughs>